Hey all, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. I hope everyone's having an awesome, awesome weekend. I'm about to fly off to uh, GDC in Paris within a few hours. I'm, I'm still in Shanghai right now. But I wanted to do a, a fast video for you guys uh, just as an update on some App Store optimization things that we did recently on our Google Play account. And hopefully this will be useful for you guys and you can you can start to tweak things on your side if you're a Google Play publisher, if you have your get games or apps on there. So recently uh, we uploaded a game, or finished a game called Super Bug Killer and we uploaded that to our Google Play account and that was on there for a while. The Originally the downloads of this game were, were really low, really, really low. I mean every day was roughly, I don't know, 10, 10 12 downloads a day which is super low and part of it is because of visibility of course there's so many games on the Google Android or Google Play market so one of the things that you do to improve your app store optimization like SEO for app stores is on the Android market you will use keywords okay uh, the keyword there is no keyword section to add but what you do is you add keywords inside of the game description which is here and here I've got up the, the super bug killer page on the Google Play market now you can see here originally the first few days were super low and then it jetted up basically because of using keywords. Now the downloads aren't huge even though this line is quite vertical it, uh, the downloads are still pretty low for this game but it has had a, a huge impact in just some doing some small keyword optimization inside of the game. So originally the description that we had was this one here this was uh, the one with the stars hey slice up flies and bees splat blood uh, splat bud, bl oh, I can't see it. Splat bug blood everywhere, and then the reviews we had that, and then the how to play, and then now go slice them bugs up, uh, bugs and flies ninja master. All right, and we had the screenshots, and this caused these low downloads. Then a few days later, what we added in is we did an update, and we said now with world leaderboards, uh, you could challenge your friends, and also this part here, which is a bit of a, uh, a bit of dis description of the game like hey don't you just hate flies don't you just want to slash them up don't you just want to you know blah 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 well now you can and we added so these two parts in okay and then all of a sudden the downloads got a lot higher so that's great and just just to show you a little bit more of an analysis this was roughly the active users when the game didn't have that keyword optimization inside so 32 users, 41, 41, 41, 30, 27. And I think active users, by the way, is people coming back to the game. So this isn't the actual number of downloads each day. But you can see here, once we did add in those new keywords, it jumped. And we also added in HazeApp as well, which I did a separate video in, a developer diary on HazeApp, and that seems to have had a good impact as well. So that adds in leaderboards, it also adds in social elements so that players can see their friends or what you're playing or they can challenge each other through the leaderboard they can have like a point match or something like this so definitely check that out as well this this has produced some really good results uh, you can also see here like the number of players in HazeApp right now for the game if you go to HazeApp.com and then find your game uh, I can see 80 players here and the cool thing is if I if I'm a, a, a user on HazeApp I can click on any of these players and I can actually have a chat with them I can say hey ha, you know did you like the game or could you rate the game for us? That would be awesome, you know, or here's some tips or, you know, challenge them. So that's a really, really powerful thing. And right now it's not huge. Like I said, the number of downloads are not massive, but it's had a big impact, you know, based on this original number down here on the left-hand side that I'm sort of swirling the mouse over. And so, yeah, look into, look into App Store optimization, add keywords into your description. The tip that I read most often is if you want the game to be found uh, if you want it, if you want the game to be more visible is add in your basic keywords five times into the description don't add them more the second tip is guys do not add in keywords too much do not stuff the keywords too much or you will have problems and you may get your account cancelled and that has happened to us before so really be careful um, most of the marketing for Google Play has to be done outside of the App Store, at the Google Play App Store. And for example, through Haze App, where it's more viral on Haze App, more people will download the game. So just be careful with your keywords, guys. Don't don't stuff too many and don't make it large. If it's a small game like ours is, you know, maybe don't you can't add that four thousand character description in there with and you're just trying to like add more and more and more stuff. If it's a large game, yeah, it can fill up 4,000 characters. But for ours, like, we'll probably just keep it at this level here, and we might optimize a little bit later. So the goal usually is uh, 
add in the keywords, track how many downloads you're getting, then change the keywords and then track how many downloads. Does it go up or down, yes or no? And you'll find, uh, you'll find eventually some good keywords that you can focus on, maybe for each of your games perhaps, or maybe some focus keywords just for this individual game. So, but yeah, for now, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I just wanted to do a real quick video just to update you on, on some uh, App Store optimization tips that we saw recently, that we'd seen recently had affected our downloads, and hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit as well. So remember, always add in some good keywords and try to add keywords in the title of the game as well, which will also affect downloads, okay? But for now, I'll, I'm going to catch up with you guys, hopefully in the next couple of days, once I'm at uh, the uh, Game Connection event in Paris. And I'll try to show you around, maybe a little bit, show what that event is all about. And it might be useful for you guys to, to go there eventually if you've built up some kind of you know, studio or if you just want to go and meet people like publishers and so on. But for now, everyone have an awesome weekend. Happy developing. And I will chat to you all very soon. Okay?